I'm really good at managing my money. Hey guys, Annika, welcome to my Chanika. Today I'm going to be doing a Fenty Beauty review and this, I went a little too I didn't buy everything, like I'm pretty sure I didn't go as crazy as like most people do, but this is the most that I've ever spent on one in-store makeup trip. Girl, when she told me the price, my heart. Yeah, I'm just wearing eyebrows and mascara right now, so I'm just gonna take off my mascara, but yeah. If you don't know me, if you haven't seen my face before, it <laughs> that's so basic. Yeah, you should subscribe because it's lit in the Ani Cunt Squad. <laughs> Ew, I wish I hadn't done that, but subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Alright, bitch. So first I'm gonna start with the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. The packaging. I think I'm gonna have to display this shit because it's too pretty to go unnoticed. Look at that. Okay. Anyway, comes with a pump. Very pleased with that. It feels heavy. It's like a frosted glass. I don't know. Originally, I wasn't even going to do this video just because I knew that everybody was going to be doing it, but they still seem to be very popular, and Rachel Cantu put out one this week, and I just, I don't know. I felt like people were still doing them, so I was like, okay, I better hop on the bandwagon before it's too late, so... <coughs> I just threw up in my mouth. Dude, this shit feels like silk. Boy. Yeah. Oh, you're filming? Yeah. Can I sit in here with you? Yeah. Did you Yeah. That's stupid. This shit's whack. Oh, it's because I was opening it from the wrong side. No, I wasn't. Have you already put on the primer? Yeah. So I got the shade 160. Ooh, this one's pretty too. It has like a white cap. But I feel like uh, this might be a little bit dark for me, especially since I've heard that it oxidizes. And I've seen that it oxidizes based on the fucking swatches that I did in the store. I think I'm going to do half of my face with a brush and the other half with a beauty blender. It's so liquidy. Queen! I'm so excited to see how it works in person. I'm so excited to see how it works in person. Oh, this is like my perfect color, but it's going to oxidize. Or IP. Rest in pussy. It's shot. already o oxidizing. Oh my god, wait. Is it, has it like dried down yet? Yeah, but it feels, it looks really good from far away. Of course, close up, it looks like shit because I look like shit, but it looks way better than most foundations do. Ooh, girl, this is so nice. Hell yeah. Um, so far, it's a medium coverage, light medium, definitely buildable. It covers up all my redness, and I have like this pimple, and it like covered that up. So I say it's pretty good, and it's definitely, it doesn't seem cakey. Now for the brush, I'm gonna use my favorite. Bitch, what the fuck? Oh, found it. Moment of truth. Let's see if it is actually full coverage with the brush. Ooh, the smile line. As a disclaimer, I'm sure that it is better like with the brushes that she did, but like I was not just gonna spend money on a brush that like I was actually never gonna use. Like I wouldn't use it. So like hopefully you can understand. This is just for the average woman that's just gonna purchase one thing from her line rather than the entire fucking thing. Because the average woman is not psycho like me. Actually, or man. I'm sorry, I'm being sexist. Okay, I like it way better with a beauty blender. With a brush, it might just be that brush, but it just feels like it isn't going on like nice enough. I just, it doesn't look like Brush. But my one problem with it is it seems like it settled into your lines. Hell yeah. Okay, so the primer, fucking yes. I love how it's matte, but it doesn't make me look flat, if you know what I'm saying. So now I'm gonna go into the concealer. I got the Match Stick Trio. I got the medium shade because the contour in the light set was so fucking gray. Like, it was literally gray. Like, it wasn't brown gray. It was gray gray. But I just went for this one and also the highlighter in this one is fucking gorgeous. So the concealer is in the shade Bamboo. The contour is in the shade Mocha and the highlighter is in the shade Trippin'. You can buy these separately but you can also buy three and they're like magnetic. So yeah, that's my story. Most of her products are in like an octagon shape which I think is cool. I just really hope that the highlighter like compact fits in my fucking dividers because if it doesn't I'm actually gonna kill myself. Yeah, this is in shade Bamboo as I said before. Okay, this is like the shade of my skin but like whatever. We're just not gonna look cute today. It's fine. Like I've, I've just accepted it. Like I never look cute so like okay. Okay, see how much product is in here. That's not very much, but like these are pretty thick sticks. So, like, I mean, that's how far it rolls up. This is like low-key bias, but I've never really been a huge fan of stick concealer. So like I'm not a huge fan of this and I really don't see myself using it. However, for a stick concealer, it is pretty good. Not as dry as a normal stick concealer is, but it's still really dry and I feel like... No, I just hate stick concealers. What's the appeal? I don't get it. What, what would you use it for? I would definitely use it to like carve out my eyebrows because I love the uh, Wet n Wild, this one, for carving out my eyebrows because it's like so creamy. But I feel like the Wet n Wild one is creamier than that one. Like, I don't know. But you know what? Whatever plus your dick. I'm gonna contour using the shade Mocha. This one is a very like warm toned brown. It looks really dark in this stick. But before I use this one this time, because I'm not a fuck up, just kidding. I am. 
this is what it looks like and yeah I'm just gonna contour my big ass forehead and actually give myself some shape and some structure it doesn't look as dark on the skin as it did in the stick okay I like that and also this one is like way creamier like yeah sexy as fuck who is she I actually like Rihanna who like she get on that dick and stay on all night like porch lights okay I'm gonna like wet my beauty blender a little bit for this just because I feel like it's impossible to blend out cream contour if your beauty blender isn't wet but I don't like the real beauty blender when it's wet I don't know why I just like it better when it's dry I'll do half of my face with the beauty blender and then the other half of my face with the real techniques like this brush because this is really good for cream contour I learned that from you boy what the f fuck are you doing? Although it doesn't look super harsh on the skin. It doesn't. I like how it's so like fucking melts. Like it melts into your skin. I like it. If I say she get on that dick and stay on all night like porch lights one more time during this video, please come up and punch me in the face. So I actually really like the way this looks on my nose. Like do you see that? <gasps> my camera ran out of space. So I have to clear some up. Okay. Now I'm going to take the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm going to be using this just to see if it blends out a little bit better with a brush as opposed to a beauty blender so I definitely think that it blends better with a brush on your face but I think for your nose it looks way better on the side that I used a beauty blender than on the side that I used a brush I don't know to be honest with you I've started watching Fenty reviews but I've really only seen what people think of the primer and then I just like stopped watching because I really don't give a fuck don't actually know like how if people actually like the foundation but I don't really like the foundation maybe it's it's just too like dry for me maybe it was the primer but I really like the primer oh I'm conflicted oh yay okay anyway I'm gonna use the shade trippin which is supposed to be a highlighter I'm gonna use it as a blush but girl this shade is so gorgeous like oh my god you're gonna shit your pants do you see that it's like a duochrome peach gold you can't even fucking see it what a fuck up I'm over it I hate myself do you see it dude if I were fucking dark like next summer I'm gonna wear this as a highlight 24 7 I've just started to pale the fuck up so yeah I'm gonna do one side with the brush and then one side with the beauty blender. Bro, if you are darker, like if you're black, this is gonna look fucking gorgeous on you. Like, oh my god. Ooh, girl. But I do like the way that looks as a blush. I'm not really a huge fan of cream blushes, um, but if anything, I might just use this as like an eyeshadow or something, to be honest, because I can't let this out of my life. Like, I love this. Like, I love her. Like, I love her. I like it been blended out with a beauty blender a little bit more. I just feel like you get a little bit more pigment, but I do really like this. I think it's really, really pigmented, and if it were like a highlighting stick, as opposed to what I'm using it as a blush stick, I feel like it would be even better, but it is gorgeous as a blush stick. So overall, I think my favorite out of these three was the contour stick. I wasn't a huge fan of the concealer stick, but that's just because I'm fucking biased. And then I really like the trippin'. Girl, it's beautiful. Like, I will literally, like, have wet dreams about this. Like, you think that I'm kidding, but, like, I'm actually not kidding. Okay, I'm set my damn face, girl. I got the uh, Invisimat blotting powder. Dude, the packaging on this powder is gorgeous as shit. Like, it has, it's like a book almost. It has a little puff, which I'll keep just because it's aesthetic. And then it has a plastic thing. Yeah. I'm gonna try using the puff that it comes with. <laughs> I don't ever use the puffs that anything comes with. And I'll set underneath my eye. I also want to see if this powder has flashback. The puff isn't that bad. I just don't like how like, you have to hold it. Like, it's just like this. I wish that it had like a finger thing or even like a little, I don't know. Like, what do the kids do these days? I just feel like I can't do jack shit with this. And like, even like Physicians Formula and Maybelline have like little handles. And also, why is this like $34? How much product do you get in this? 8.5 grams. That's a lot. Okay, never mind. I kind of understand, but still, it's a fucking powder. Chill. Okay. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. The doors in my house, or not even the doors in the house, just my fucking door to my room, has swell swollen up. Have swollen up. Has, no, just think. What the fuck am I trying to say? The doors in my house have swollen up. No, the doors in my house haven't swollen up. The door to my room has swollen... <laughs> okay, it's too hot. The wood is expanding and my door won't open. So you really have to like struggle. Okay, I love this powder. Like in bet your sweet mama cheeks, I'm fucking using this again. Like this will not be the last time you see this powder. It makes your face so mad. I fucking love it. Like it took away any and all fucking shine that was on my face and I'm so down. Like, but it doesn't like dry you out, you know? Um, but yeah. Okay, so that powder gets a fucking yes for me. I, I don't know why. I never thought I'd be so passionate about powder. If you have really oily skin and you're looking for like a good mattifying powder, or a blotting powder, this bitch up your alley. I'm white, so I don't know how well it's gonna work on somebody who has dark skin, like black skin. I'm sure it'll work on you if you have medium skin, but dark skin, I'm not quite sure. It says it is a universal shade. It says universal on the back. Um, but I still, like, I doubt that. Like, I highly, highly doubt that. Let me go grab my phone and we can see if it has flashback together. Okay, but just, like, keep in mind that nobody looks cute with backflash. Like, nobody. This is gonna be an ugly picture, but do it for the views. 
No, it doesn't look like I got flashback. I think I look fine. No flashback. Hey. <laughs> and I don't see an immediate like white cast on my face like when you're looking at me. Okay, two more products and then we're freaking done and then I'll give you my final opinions just so that you can like skip to the end, whatever. Alrighty, so next I have the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo. I got the second shade, which is Mean Money and Hustla Baby. They have a more champagne duo, but I've been super into like gold highlights. I like can't do champagne. Wait, let me just see if this fits into my highlighter organizer. Yes, bitch! Everything! Dude, I don't think I've ever been this happy. Like, I just bought a bunch of new makeup and it all fits in my drawers. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You get two highlighters. One is, I feel like one's more natural and then one's more, like, intense. Ooh, whoo! Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Boy, I barely touched my finger into it. Holla! Okay, and then I'm gonna swatch the, what looks like more matte side. You, like, can't even see it, whatever. Okay, no, like, I give up. Like, you won't be able to see it. But I'm, I'm fucking using the shade Hustla Baby. That's my shit. Yeah, I'm gonna need to wash me and apply a little warm breath. I'm gonna dip a little bit into Mean Money. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Because I just want to get the best of both worlds. Like, you get the limo out front. Whoa. Oh, hell yeah. But boy, this is so glittery. Why? Why do people still put glitter in their highlights? It doesn't look cute. Like, why are you doing it? Let's just see if, like, putting setting spray on top will make the glitter, like, not fall out. But I love the color. I love the Hustler Baby shade. Like, okay, yes. I like the highlighter. If you're fine with a little bit of glitter, then I think go for it. Like, I will definitely wear this, and I, like, I hate glitter. I think if I can do it, you can do it, girl. I'm just gonna put on some mascara so that I don't look whack, and then we're gonna put on the lip gloss, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So, yeah. For those of you that are wondering, I just used the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette and the Essence Purple Lash Princess Mascara. That's what's on my eyes. I just, like, I feel like I'm gonna go out after this, so, like, I just wanna make sure that I'm prepared. Now I'm gonna put on the lip gloss. This is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Fuck. It's a universal lip fuck. And this is supposed to be, like, universal. Like, everybody's supposed to look good in this. Um, it's in, like, a brown shade, but it's supposed to look different on everyone. Fuck. <laughs> this lip applicator is thick. Ooh. What does that smell like? That has like a really nostalgic scent. I can't put my finger on it. Wait, shit, this is gorgeous. I was just saying to Rihanna, she's like, are you gonna return any of this stuff? And I was like, I might return the lip gloss. I hadn't even tried it yet, but I was like, nah, I don't really wear lip gloss. Bitch, if I were to wear lip gloss, this is the lip gloss that I would fucking wear. I look good. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I always look like trash. This is a shade Fenty Glow, by the way, but like, fuck. I love that lipstick. So final thought, I love the primer, I love the powder, I love the matchsticks so much. The highlighter was a little bit glittery, but if you're into like a medium intensity, a little tiny bit glittery highlighter, it's gonna be bomb as fuck for you. The foundation was pretty good, especially since I just sprayed some Mario Badescu and I like bounced my beauty blender, cause like it was looking a little bit dry. So I think it might've been the combination between a mattifying foundation and a mattifying primer. So I have combo skin, like my skin isn't super oily. Um, so I would recommend Nope, I look like the white kid from the vines. If you have normal, dry, a little bit oily skin, I would recommend using one or the other, but if you have super oily skin, I would use both or your mattifying primer of choice. Yeah, but just be like a little bit careful with that. What else did I get? Oh, I love the lip gloss. It's like not, it's not sticky. Like. No, your hair gets stuck in it. It is not that bad, and that applicator is fat as fuck, so if you have big ass lips, unlike me, there you go, you're included. Rihanna loves you, and I love you too. <laughs> I don't really know what to say, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on fentying. I will wish you the best, but you already have.